morning everyone yeah good morning so shall we begin the session today's topic is the same that is the continuation of the literature review we have discussed about the literature review in the last class and questionnaire of the survey in the last to last class so what is an observation what is the literature review we have discussed about the rubrics standard review literature review how many standards are used how many rubrics are used with the literature review okay all right uh, then we will discuss about what is the literature review or what is it, uh, why we are requiring the literature review, how many respondent or the participants are available in the respondent or how many respondents are available in the literature review, what is the time issue, time issue in the sense, uh, what is the time that is required for this one, what is the time constraint that, that is used in the literature review, that varies, that depends on the person to person, that depends on the criteria to criteria or the number of documents we are reviewing or the, their availability and the amount of information being analyzed. So if the information is less, less prior or if the information is not required for more usage, so that is not required with this, with the long usage, with the long literature review. So the string information in the form of the reports, historical data, planning and budget reports, organization structure charts, workshop evaluations, career development reports, also included in the published research, uh, available or included in the other evaluation report for the evaluation report that is available for this one. and how many respondent because there is no respondent there is no participant in the literature view so there is no criteria for the literature review then what is the time issue um, time time varies depending on the number of documents they acquire their availability and the amount of information being analyzed then what is the cost issue issues this is relatively inexpensive using the existing document and the data that is the cost issue and when to use it when to use it means what are the various content or what are the various ways by which it is used so literature review are generally used in the stages of the evaluation what are the various stages of evaluation how it works and what is the uh, front end evaluation that is particularly used in this one and there is the existing literature that is theory research work criteria, pension schemes, evaluation report that must be carried out with the test score that can also provide the baseline, that can also provide the recorded data, recorded material and other forms of the existing data, whatever the other form that is used with the existing data that is used with the recorded material. So that is also available with the recorded content that is also used with the recorded, uh, recorded material that is known as the budget report, that is known as the workshop evaluation that can also help uh, paint a picture of the intended audience, their perceptions, whatever their, whatever their perceptions and whatever their reactions. Now, what are some of the benefits or what are the various benefits that is used with the literature review that we have discussed? So first is that it is very less time consuming. But, uh, less time consuming I mean, it means there is no uh, time that is required, more no more time that is required that can be a less time consuming then makes use of already gathered statistical data whatever the statistical data whatever the statistical information that is gathered so that is not or that makes a use of the already gathered the statistical data then easier to chart changes over the time so we are inserting the easier or it is very easy to insert the charts over the time and we can also provide the excellent evidence of the problem whatever the evidence is whatever the criteria that is followed up that will be used with the excellent uh, evidence of the problem that means the need assessment is required for this and the minimum effort or the interruption of the workers there is a minimum effort for the interruption of the workers that is minimum effort for this one so what data is required what is the interruption of the workers when it is required what is the usage of requiring on the data how, how it is required and what is the relevance of gathering the data requirements whatever the gathering whatever the requirement that is gathered over here So that get that uh, data will be gathered with the excellent evidence of the problems. Now let's see what are the various limitations or what are some of the limitations that is used over here. First one is the data synthesis can be very difficult. So it is very difficult to synthesize the data. And that may not address the, uh, may not address the specific questions, whatever the specific question that is gathered. That is not with you, that is not with, with, with a specific question that is gathered over here. 
So whatever the data gathering, whatever the whatever the requirements of this one, so that is used with the data gathering requirements. Then reports may be incomplete sometime because some people are have a habit we can say to incomplete the report. So reports may be incomplete in some cases, and the organization can be hesitant. Organization can be hesitant to uh, to share if the results result or the, if the results reflect poorly on the organization. Whatever the result that is poorly reflect on the organization or or a project, whatever the project that is required for this one, and the project may have been adjusted or selectively edited. Whatever the edit procedure, whatever the scenario, whatever the terms, regulation that is used, that would be used with a selectively edited or may have been adjusted with a selectively edit picture. Now, next, let's move to the next part. We have done with the literature review, we have done with the observation, questionnaire and the survey. Next part is the test. How we are conducting the test? What is the criteria for conducting the test? test how it is gathered uh, what are the various ways what are the various benefits limitation that is used for gathering or that is done for the test now what is it so any exam that assess the organization or knowledge of the skill level whatever the organization whatever the exam that that possess knowledge of the skill level what is the skill level for this one so that is a test and it can be very easy fill in the blanks few falls on the multiple choice questions that is exam will be used with the fill in the blanks it can be essay that mean test may be in the form of the essay, in the form of the fill in the blank, in the form of true or false, in the form of multiple choice formats or multiple choice questions. So this may be any form that will be used with the test. But the main criteria is to judge the test, judge the knowledge or the skill level. What is the knowledge level? What is the skill level that is used for making the test? All right. So an exam that assess the knowledge or the skill level, it can be essay, it can be fill in the blanks, it can be a true or false or the multiple choice question or the multiple choice formats. Now. Next question is how many respondents or the participants will be available for the test? That means how many participants will be used for the test? So from 25 to the thousands that is used for the respondent or the participants. Number are limited by the length of the test. So it can be limited to the length of the test and its formats. It can be limited to the number of the test, its format, that is a bubble test that can be administered to 100 or the thousand that assuming the excess, whatever the excess criteria that is administered that is used with the bubble test, that is used with the admin, that is used with the thousands of the test, that is used with the scanton, that is used with the bubble test, that can be used with the hundred of the test. And the essay tests are limited by the ability to score them. So they are ability or there is ability for the essay test that is limited to score them or they have ability to score them. The next one is the time issues. Time issues is from 10 minutes to 1 hour. So this is from 10 minutes to 1 hour to the administrator. That is although more, most practices or participants will register a test that takes more than a few minutes to complete. So this is from the 10 minutes to around 1 hour to administer. And the development of a valid and the reliable test instruments can take the months. It can take the months to admin or it can take the months to validate the data, retest the data. Reliable instrument will be used for the data gathering. And whatever the data analysis that is taken out, if closed-ended questions are used, so if there are closed-ended questions that is used over here, so there are multiple data gathering that is that is desired for the data requirement that is used for the data requirement that should take a that should take a small amount of time. So it can use with a small amount of time that could take a short amount of time with the data analysis with the close ended or close question that are used. That is the time issue. Then what is the cost issues? It is an inexpensive to moderately expensive. This is inexpensive data that is required to the moderately moderately expensive. So this is from the lower rate to the higher rate and this is the greater cost that in uh, issues revolve around the development of the test. So there are multiple costs. So there are there are high costs that is developed for the level of the test, for the development of the test. And if the instrument exists or the simple measures of the knowledge skills are used, development cost will be limited. So there is a development cost that is limited over here. That is a cost issue. Next is when to use it. So what is the time when we are using the test or tests are generally used at what timing. So tests are used when evaluators want to assess the audience level of the knowledge or the skills. 
whatever the audience knowledge that is uh, evaluated whatever the evaluation or uh, knowledge audience knowledge or the levels of the skills and test also measure a point in time they cannot predict the future or the past experiences past performances whatever the past performance that is available and if administered at the interval test can also provide an indication of the change whatever the indication of the change that is required that is increase used with the increased understanding over the time that is used with the pre post assessment and the longitudinal longitudinal in the sense they are evaluated when the evaluator wants to assess the audience level of the knowledge or the skills next is what are the various benefits or what are some of the benefit that is required for this so first is helps identify the level of the knowledge or the skills it is very very best or it is very helpful to identify the level of the knowledge or the skill what is the main level of the knowledge of the skill or the knowledge or the skill that is the achievement and the accountability whatever the achievement whatever the accountability that is required for identifying the levels of the knowledge or the skills then results are easily quantified so results are easily quantified with the various benefits that means it is very very easy to gather the results it is very easy to uh, we can say the analyze the test or results of the test whatever the whatever the test criteria we have considered so it is very easy to analyze that test then individual performances can be easily compared whatever the individual performances that can be easily compared with the individual performance but that is the main benefit so individual performances can be easily compared with the with the with the, with the analysis of the test then it is very helpful to determine if intervention had made a difference in knowledge or the skill level whatever the knowledge level whatever the skill level that is required so that helps to determine if the intervention has made a difference in the knowledge or the skill level whatever the knowledge whatever the skill level that is required for determining the benefits now what are some of the limitations or what are various limitation of this one? so first is limited availability of the validated test for specific situations there is a limited availability of the validated test limited availability in the sense uh, limited criteria that is used for the availability of the test that is used for the validation of the test for specific situations then validity issues so that that does it test the appropriate knowledge and the skills there's the validity question that is arises so that it, that does it test the appropriate knowledge and the skills then language or the vocabulary can be an issue so there, there is also an issue of the language of the vocab then people can be very very concerned with how the test results will be utilized so people will be very concerned that how the test results will be analyzed will be used especially with the results when we are conducting the test when we are dealing with the test whatever the test report that is that is considered for the for the data that is how the test will be conducted when it is conducted what is the criteria or what is the judge, criteria for judging the test for taking the out the test then adults sometime uh, resign taking the test which uh, typically have a negative connotation so, uh, there is a habit in the result, uh, there is a habit in the adults to uh, take again and again 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 test that is also the that is also provides a connotation that is a negative effect on the individuals now let's see what is the use of the concept map why we are using the concept map what are the advantages of using the concept map so, so it is a graphical representation of how an individual thinks about a topic that is how what is the thinking of the individual about a topic how they think and concepts map depicts how the mind is able to recognize the information in the hierarchical manner and, and how new information is connected to the existing information whatever the new information that is existing with the new information that is new corrected data so how much information or how the new information is connected to the existing information existing data existing requirements of the information then how many respondents or the participants are required it typically required the 5 to 20 people and the number of individual asked to produce a concept map that may be increased but the time and cost also increases so if the persons are involved are increase or increase the person or the or the time and the cost also increases for this one the next is what are the time issues so this is typically from the 5 to the 45 minute and before the data can be collected respondent will need to learn how to do a concept map because it takes around 
five minutes to the Pona Kanta, that is 45 minutes. And before data can be collected, respondent will need to learn how the data or how to draw a concept map that is used with the data analysis that is slow and the time consuming that may take the weeks, especially if the concept maps are maps are the complex, showing many relationships among the ideas or if the large number of individuals produce the concept map. What is the concept map that is required? What is the criteria that is required for the concept map? What is the rules regulation that is used with the concept map for the concept map data gathering requirements? So it shows how many respondents, how many data tools, or how many relationships among the ideas if the large number of individuals are also produced with a concept map. So what are the various time issues? Then what is the cost issue for this one? So analysis of the concept map requires expertise and the training. Expertise in the sense, who is expertise in this one, who is very much efficient with this one. So analysis of the concept map also requires expertise and the training. So that also bears a very good cost in this one. So there's also a cost that is required for the for giving the training, for making the expertise with the data requirements. Then when to use it. So it is best used when the evaluator wants to understand the relationship among the idea the attitude so when we are gathering the requirements when we are gathering the relationship among the ideas of the attitude so that at that time the evaluators want to understand the relationship and because it is a structure differently from a test for or a typical survey so constructing a concept map may be less intimidating for someone especially for those who are uncomfortable with that test because it is not used with everyone because every every and each every tool that is not required with everyone so that is not best suitable for increasing the for taking the data requirement now what are the some of the benefit that is required for this one that means what are the various benefit that is used for this one so first one is provides a visual representation of how individuals see the topic and the relationship among the ideas what is the main idea what is the visual representation of how the individuals see the topic and what is the relationship among the ideas what is the main relationship that is gathered for the requirement that is gathered for increasing the increasing the benefits what are the various benefit that is used for this one then tend to reduce the test density that is people often in a fun exercise rather than a test of the understanding so when we are conducting the test people in are in a fun fun in the sense they are in a mood of the uh, fun that they are using or they are reducing the text anxiety that is also required for the data gathering that is also required for the data requirements so I tend to reduce the a test anxiety people who often use as a fun exercise rather than a test of the understanding the next one is allows the respondents to illustrate the complex ideas and the relationship that is particularly used for the visual learners and what are the some of the limitations that is required so it can be, it is very difficult to score now let's see what are the various limitations or what are some of the limitations that is carried out with this one so it is very difficult to score the digital analysis must be completed by someone with a special training so that also required with the various scores so that cost is very required so it's very difficult to score without giving the analysis without giving the understanding of this one so the, uh, this is very difficult to store with this one this is very difficult to enter with this one so there is a time consuming that is also required to score so that is required for this one that is required for data gathering requirements then time consuming to score that is each idea and the build report will be available each relationship must must be analyzed with this one must be used with this one that it must be used with the reported data with the with the, with the uh, concern that is required for the recorded data that is required for the for the recorded data that is used with this one then participant must be taught or uh, how to construct a concept map. so that must be course taught how to construct a, a map or how to construct a road map or concept map that is desired for this one and it is very difficult it can be very difficult to determine the commonalities that is a pattern among the participant to compare the participant understanding what is the participant understanding that is available what is the participant limitation that is used with the carrying out the data that is used with the commonality that is a pattern among the participants uh, tradition among among the participant that is very difficult to determine the commonalities then uh, next one is a document of the product review. What are the various documents?